Sometimes when we're counting defects, we count the number that actually occur on a given widget, part, whatever. And so there's there can be more than one defect. In this case, we use the U-chart to do statistical process control. So let's take a look at, here's the Automotive Industry Action Group. There's a doc audit of all these various parts and the number of nonconformances that are found in here. And so here we have <clears throat> the number and the sample size. And we can come in here and use the U-chart. It'll ask me if nonconformances is the sample size. The answer in this case is no. Because the QI macros don't always know which one is which one. So here's our control chart, which shows that we can count on about two, two uh, defects <laughs> per sample. So that's really not good. But that's what we can count on. And we could come back in here and count and do a Pareto chart of this. And I'm not going to summarize those bars. And you can see by part number, uh, nothing really stands out. It's kind of a perflato chart, if you will. So we might have to look at this slightly differently to figure out how to focus our improvement process. But this is how we can go ahead and start to come up with, here's our process, here's what we can count on in terms of defects, and then out of those, which ones are the most uh, frequent hitters, and let's see if we can find when, some way to focus this improvement. We could start in each one of these bars, but maybe there's another way to look at it. Maybe one of these costs more than another. Uh, so it's not just a count of, maybe it's the dollar cost of something. You know, it might be this last little bar at the end it might be very expensive, and this 34 of these at the front end might be trivial. All right, so what we want to do is look at this data in a different way to figure out how to focus our improvement effort. That's how easy it is to do statistical process control and start doing some uh, narrowing of our focus to start to build some improvement projects to reduce these errors and costs and data, all using the QI macros.